What is up, MFers? Welcome back to another exciting snow-filled episode, apparently. If you guys are anything like me, no matter how much you like ice fishing, how much you, you've had a good time getting out on the ice doing that, caught a lot of fish this winter, you're probably getting a little stir-crazy right now. And just to thinking about it a little bit, we're probably here in Nebraska only about a month or so away from some open water fishing in the area. So when I thought about that, I got real, real excited. I was like, man, I need to go out, stock up on some spring supplies. Whew, a little bit too much snow out there. I think I'm gonna stay in the garage for just a second. But anyways, I get hit up all the time, literally every single day by you guys asking, what bait should I use? I'm a beginner, or I, I just don't seem to be catching any fish right now. What bait should I use right now to go catch some fish? Well, in today's video, we're gonna take a $50 bill to Bass Pro Shops, and I'm going to show you guys the baits you need to go out and purchase before we get into the spring season. My favorite spring baits. Give you guys some pointers on colors, different types of baits, action, stuff like that, so that no matter where you are in the country, these baits will point you in the right direction to the bass as we move into the pre-spawn phase of bass fishing season. Let's go. That is not part of our $50 challenge. Apparently, it's a little chilly outside. So all that gas is pumping, I gotta tell you guys a story real quick about a little run-in I had last week with two Nebraska state officials that really, really pissed me off. So last week, I'm sitting in my office trying to get some work done, and my wife, I hear some people knock on the door. My wife goes to the door, huge mistake. Don't ever go to the door these days when someone knocks on your door, apparently. And, and she comes running up to me to the, to the office. She's like, there's two guys here that need to see you. And I was like, Okay, who the hell could this be? I don't know, fans or something? So I go up up to the door and there's two guys with guns, badges, and I didn't even know where they were from, to be honest. And, and they're like, can we have a word with you? We need to speak with you. Um, can we sit down in your kitchen or, or wherever? Do you have a place we can sit down and speak? I was like, yeah, uh, I guess so. And I'm just, I'm starting to get a little nervous. I'm like, I make all these videos that I do something illegal in these, like what's going on? So they come up, sit down in the kitchen, they start asking me some questions. They're like, hey, we noticed you make these YouTube videos, right? I was like, yeah. Like, well, do you enjoy doing that? Yeah. Um, do you make a good living doing that? And I'm just like, I'm all like, yeah, it's it's fine. You know, my stuff's growing a lot. I got a lot of MFers. I didn't say that, but I wanted to. And, and so I'm like, what the hell is going on? And so I asked them, I said, did I do something wrong here? Uh, is there a reason you guys are at my house? Because up until then, I was just... I was just sitting in the office trying to get some work. So just a little bit more backstory. These guys, two guys from the state of Nebraska Game and Parks Commission with their guns and badges and everything drove two separate trucks um, to my house. So anyways, I'm like, all right, so so what's what's in question? So he shows me this video of fishing with Max um, from G that I posted on January 8th. And he's like, how long does it usually take you to put up a video? Uh, and, and I told him the truth. I said, you know, sometimes I get it out the same day. Sometimes it's the next day. Uh, but a lot of times it's a couple weeks later. Uh, sometimes it's a month or so later. And that's all because, you know, I got to backlog some stuff for when I'm out of town. I've been out of town a ton lately. And, and so that happened to be a video I shot later in December because I was going out of town. I was at Lake of the Ozarks or Jamaica or something. I was like, I don't know. I think it was probably, I think it was from late December is what I said to him. And I was like, did I... And it was the catching cook. It was the catching cook on the ice. And, and so I'm wondering, you know, did I keep some fish that were in the right size? Did I keep the wrong fish? Can you not fillet fish up on the ice? I know you can't leave carcasses on the ice, which we did not do. We took, threw, put them in a bag, threw them out when we got home. We always do. And he says, well, the problem is you didn't get a fishing license in the state of Nebraska until the 12th. And you put this video out on the 8th. And I'm just like, I'm ready to lose it at this point. I thought I actually did something wrong here. And I hadn't fished in Nebraska before I got my fishing license. That was the day me and Ethan went out uh, and, and caught the smallmouth through the ice. Well, Nick caught the smallmouth. Anyways, that was the first day. And I remember I said, I need to get a fishing license before I go out and fish. But it just pissed me off because, and I said to him, I said, you know, I travel around and spend a ton of money and time fishing in the state of Nebraska, promoting the state of Nebraska, and you guys are going to come to my house and question me uh, about a fishing video that was posted four days previously. They spent their time and money, they drove separately to state officials to come to my house uh, and, and start and, and question me on something ridiculous like that. You know, I know Flair's had problems with the state of Nebraska and stuff. You know, it's pretty clear someone's got a problem with uh, 
people that post YouTube videos or fishing YouTube videos, I think they probably think we're a bunch of punk kids. And I just told these guys, so, you know, this is my living. I got fishing licenses for the state right now in Nebraska, Iowa, Kansas, Missouri, and even Texas. Like, obviously I care and it means something to me to go buy a fishing license. If you're over 16 in Nebraska, you have to have a fishing license. I've had one every single year um, since I was 16 years old. And I've been checked on the water one time in 13 years. So, you know, that really frustrated me. And I told him that I said, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of disheartening and frustrating as an angler that sees a lot of illegal activities going on, uh, at the lakes at times with whether it's people poaching or people that probably aren't fishing with licenses. I can't judge that obviously, or illegal activities, stuff like that. You know, I see drug usage and stuff in the parking lots too. And, and all sorts of crazy things. Cause I fish almost every single day, but I told him, I said, I fish every single day. I've been checked once in the last 14 years. And you guys took the time out of your day to come to my house and question me about having a fish permit four days before uh, I said I did in the first week and a half of January so I don't know that just it made me it definitely made me frustrated it rubbed me the wrong way while I understand they were doing their jobs they were just doing their jobs to, to come and investigate something that was put online I thought it was a terrible use of time uh, and their process was ridiculous. They could have gone out to any lake and checked 30 or 40 ice fishermen to see if they had their fishing license, but they wanted to take the time to come check out this punk kid um, with his YouTube channel thinking he's cool posting videos is, is exactly how they act. And, and the one younger guy, he was he was all right, he wasn't bad, but then there was this older dude, this rich guy. You could see the stick in his ass probably coming up the street as he drove by. He wanted me to know real quick that I was, uh, I was not getting any special treatment and this is how everything was gonna go. You know, I said, well, we've had so we've had other cases like this where people post illegal stuff on video all the time. Like this one time, this guy had killed too many turkeys and he was bragging about it and stuff. And I'm just like, that's poaching, dude. That is completely different than me potentially allegedly waiting four days after the 8th of January to buy a fishing license, which is like a hundred dollar fine or something. I don't even know, but it was just ridiculous. I thought so the moral of the story while they were doing their job. I thought it was absolutely ridiculous in the manner that they, they came to my house uh, and it was were interrogating me and trying to get me to slip up and say I did something wrong. Now, obviously, I didn't get a ticket. I didn't do anything wrong. You know, I've, like I told you, I post videos. A lot of times I backlog videos and, and I wouldn't ever fish without a license. I, I, I don't know. I just It rubbed me the wrong way. I feel like I do a lot to promote the sport of fishing, especially in, in Nebraska and the Midwest. And you see these guys like uncut angling and these other channels that are getting sponsored promotion from the the tourism departments of the states and everything and i feel like it's the total polar opposite if you live in nebraska you you've likely experienced um some of these same antics we'll call them so anyways huge thumbs down to the nebraska game and parks commission Sorry, I just had to get that off my chest. I was really, really heated. My wife was heated. We uh, we asked them to leave our house pretty quickly once we, we found out how ridiculous those claims were. But we're going to get to Bass Pro Shop now. I promised you we would. Let's go. Interesting adventure, as always, in the Bass Pro Shops. Get to be the guy walking around talking to a camera like a freaking weirdo. Gotta freaking love it. Now, before we start, if you guys like these videos, I really, really want to know if you like them. I'll start doing them maybe for other seasons as well. So go comment below that you like and go subscribe. If I see a big jump in subscribers, I will know that you want more of these. All right, here we go. First item we're going to start with today is by far my favorite, very, very early spring lure, and that is the old jerk and stick. You guys know that. This one right here is definitely the one you guys want. This is the Mega Bass Vision 110. It's probably the best all time jerk bait but it is $25. For that reason, we're not gonna pick this up today because we have a $50 maximum for us to spend. But this guy, this is like the all-time goat. This is, uh, I probably have over 100 of these, unfortunately. This is the guy you want. If you can afford it, go pick up one of these guys. But we're gonna pick up something a little bit cheaper. that will probably work almost as well. Not gonna work with our budget today. Uh, cast like a piece of bread. That's not gonna work either. Looks decent, but I've never used them. Color looks good. Price is right. 
There it is right there, the XR10 X-Wrap Jerkbait. You guys know I use a Six Sense Provoke Jerkbait almost exclusively, and then the Mega Bass Jerkbaits as well. But this guy right here, this olive green color X-Wrap was like the dude that got me started jerkbait fishing in at the price of $11.49. A little bit pricey, but this is a good starter jerkbait. You don't gotta go spend 25 bucks. If they carry the Six Sense Provoke, that would absolutely be my first option. But for $11.49, X-Rap XR10 suspending jerk bait. It's bait number one for us. All right, so the second bait I'm absolutely going to be picking up and throwing right when that ice comes off is the old football jig. Those fish are not gonna be moving around too quick. They're gonna be really, really slow moving. You're gonna to need to definitely slow down, especially in the rock areas, drag that around. So the football jig is going to be our next choice. Now we got a ton of options here and to be completely honest, I make my own jigs. I make 100% of my own football jigs, flipping jigs, stuff like that. So I'm not incredibly familiar, but what I do know, it definitely looks like these are better quality. And I know these chomper football jigs have good colors, uh, good action, and everything. I'm really liking these green pumpkin jigs. Plus you get two for $5.99. So we're definitely gonna pick these up. This is a half ounce size, which is absolutely perfect. You can do a ton with a half ounce size. So we got some football jigs, $5.99 for two football jigs. Good deal. Now, since uh, I got the football jig, obviously I got that because jigs are my number one option. I like them a lot more than Texas rig plastics. And you're probably gonna want something to flip inside of heavy cover. This one right here is absolutely perfect. The War Eagle heavy finesse jig. It's got a really small profile, but you can fish it in and around a lot of heavy cover. And me and my buddy, Kyle, will probably yell at me for this, but uh, definitely gonna be picking these up. Once again, two baits, 649. We'll go with the 3 8 ounce size right there. Boom. That's the dude right there. So 649 out uh, for these two, 569 for the two chopper jigs. Let me get that added up real quick. Jerk bait and the four jigs, we are at 2367. So obviously that means we are about halfway to our $50. But those are absolutely paramount baits. You have to have those uh, for fishing right when that ice comes off jerk bait jig now we need some jig trailers so we're gonna go with two different types of jig trailers you know since the water's super super cold you guys saw me throw this a lot uh, as we got in the late fall the fish don't want that much action so this guy right here these zoom super chunk we'll do it in a green pumpkin color these are absolutely perfect 349 too so so not that pricey and then we want something that flaps a little bit everybody's walking around like why is this guy have a camera in his face there's no one here because it's snow except for 700 workers it's getting a little weird all right here we go time to pick up a flappy trailer you guys know this from watching my videos rage craw is my favorite flappy trailer let's get him in a green pumpkin color or blue craw even better blue craw is perfect i love this color and it's just a great craw imitator it'll go really well on those jigs and fish are a little bit more active maybe when the water starts to get up in the upper 40s into the 50s this dude right here all right so once the water heats up a little bit more past that first ice off phase there's two baits that are absolutely key especially if you have grass and a lot of shallow fish first one the old chatterbait vibrating bladed jigs i'm not a huge fan of chatterbaits but it's it's the norm it's what everyone here uses uh, the components have kind of been crappy on these older ones that are like 4.99 so we're gonna get one that's a little bit nicer even though we're, we're kind of getting close to our budget i really like the sexy shad green pumpkin We've got a lot of bluegill around here so green pumpkin is gonna be absolutely perfect plus this chatterbait pro has a lot better hook on it a lot better components has a nicer snap swivel than your your original chatterbait this one should be money One fourteen. Oh, we're getting a little bit scary now. Great thing about that chatterbait is too, we can also use our Rage Crop trailer on there, which will work just fine. I like the striking blade minnow a lot. I like the Rage Menace a lot uh, for a trailer, but you can definitely get away with throwing those craw trailers on there as well. Now the other bait I was telling you guys about of the two baits that absolutely get amazing for a period when the water is probably like right around 50 degrees up until it gets to 60 to 65 when those fish really want to spawn and they're, they're still in that pre-spawn phase and they're they're getting ready to move up they're really staging especially in grass is the lipless crankbait lipless crankbaits are absolute killers get it stuck in the grass rip it up out of there and you're gonna get a bunch of reaction strikes hopefully i get some really good footage showing you guys those this year now once again i'm a huge fan of the six cents lipless crankbaits but they don't carry them here at my local bass pro shop so we're gonna go ahead and get the old red eye shad. I've caught a ton of fish on these and I'm just gonna go ahead and get the old sexy shad color, half ounce size. I've caught so many fish on the half ounce sexy shad, red eye shad. 
money. 639, I don't know if it's gonna fit much into our budget, but this guy right here is gonna absolutely be killer. $47.53, so we're at $47.53, and that's kind of disappointing because I want to get one more bait for you guys, and so I think we're going to go ahead uh, and do that anyways, go a little bit over our $50 budget, but the next bait I'm going to show you is kind of a wild card. You're not going to see all these other basic channels telling you guys about this pattern, um, about this bait this time of year, but the next bait, you know, we got to throw a topwater in there, and then we're going to talk about the first topwater bait I will use all year long, and that is the buzz bait not that many people talk about it but when that water gets in the high 40s low 50s that first top water bite you can get all year long is slow rolling a buzz bait doesn't make a whole lot of sense but when well, i can't catch them on a frog that early not on a pop or anything but they'll come up they'll roll on that buzz bait and they'll get it when they're in those same staging areas uh, in the grass getting ready to go spawn i don't know why they get on that bite so good um, but i don't make the rules so we're gonna go ahead and just pick up my favorite one that's available here and that is the war eagle buzz bait i like white i like black honestly i keep it very very simple with my buzz bait colors those are like the two i use exclusively i've got so many fish on this dude right here black redhead silver blade war eagle three eighth ounce buzz bait pick one of these dudes up All right, I feel like we got a really, really solid group, 50-ish dollars worth of baits. So you can absolutely go catch fish on anywhere, but I need to get out of here before I start spending any more money. Well, we got out of there for right around $55 with tax. Man, it is freaking snowing here like crazy. They didn't even call for the snow. Of course it's snowing today. It is coming down out there. My camera was getting all soaked. I thought I would do the little outro in my truck. So again, the baits that I got, jerk bait, jigs, go out, use those right when that ice comes off the water. Fish it really, really slow. Both of them slower, the better. Those fish are not going to be moving around much. And I will show you guys that in about a month from now. Now, when they get a little bit more active, remember, go out with the lipless crankbait, chatterbait, especially around grass, rip wrap. Those two baits absolutely get killed. And when it gets to that magical temperature range, right around 51, 52 degrees, go tie on a buzz bait, pull it around shallow water, low light conditions, and, and I can about promise you, you're gonna have some big old nasty slaunches rolling up on that. But that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, like I said, go subscribe if you like these videos. Let me know down in the comments, drop Drop a thumbs up, whatever. Let me know that you like these videos and I can do some more moving forward. You do not need to go spend $500 to, to go out and have some baits that are extremely effective when that ice comes off, pre-spawn phase that we're about to have. And hopefully, if you guys are stir crazy like me, you need to get on on days like these, snow days like today, uh, and go blow some coins, some hard-earned coin uh, on stuff we absolutely don't need. And that is more fishing tackle. I have so much. But yeah, next video, I will probably be back on the ice, going fishing on the ice the next couple days. And then I'm heading to some saltwater fishing, warmer climates as well. So uh, thanks so much for taking the time to watch the video today guys lots of exciting stuff coming in the next week or two i'm out of here peace i'm not sorry i can't help this love like mine <laughs> i'm not sorry i can't stop with a love like mine